you too. And my double O agents, if you're returning, it's your boy Looney Mac. Double O Looney getting at you. We're gonna do a mukbang today. You know, we got uh, McDonald's and Carl Jr. over here. We ended up getting uh, one 10 piece glazed tenders. Supposed to be, I don't know, spicy, I don't know. Supposedly spicy. It was on their new spicy menu. We were gonna get that chicken sandwich too, but they were lacking on it. They didn't have it. This, it sounds like uh, Popeyes, doesn't it? <laughs> 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 and over here, we got Carl's drink. Oh, you know, my bad. Redo. I didn't tell you how much this came out for this damn fucking 10 piece chicken tenders. It came out to $11.98, so pretty much 12 bucks for 10 pieces. All right, over here, we just got our onion rings because we substitute our fries. Today, we're doing the really big Carl combo because, you know, just once again, McDonald's is lacking. They're lacking on their Big Mac because it's a Little Mac. And this is how the real shit's supposed to be. That's why Carl's Jr. has been clowning lately. And this is, you know, we had to try it. This is, look at this shit. This is how a fucking Big Mac is supposed to be. I think Carl's Jr. is taking the game right now, bro. It looks ooey gooey. Yeah, I think, yeah. Man. You see that sauce on the paper? Just like how the Big Mac used to be, man. I don't know, people. I don't know. Usually the combo comes with fries, but I love onion rings, so I substituted. And this doesn't come with it, but we wanted some jalapeno poppers. We love spice in our life, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, uh, exactly. We would have had two spicy things for you, but like I said, McDonald's slapping into both their departments on small sizing. Because if you know, and you grew up back in the day, you know that Big Mac was bigger. When they, back in the fucking 2000s or whenever the fuck it was, when they were doing that Big Mac, Medium Mac, and Small Mac, they played all of us and switched it out. And they ain't no Big Mac anymore. That's why Carl Jr., look at this, was talking shit in their commercials. Because look, nigga, this is how a Big Mac supposed to be. And we got the really big Carl. There's two versions. There's one that's just called the Carl, I believe. Yeah, and I think it's like two patties. Or, or it's three. called the Big Carl, and it has, it has one patty. And then this one's the really big Carl, and it has three patties, I believe. And yeah. three slices of American cheese and lettuce and that special sauce that they have, so. Okay, so you guys, you know, so we got a meal. So the combo was actually about $10 if you did it with the fries and the drink, um, but we upgraded for a large combo and we switched our fries for onion rings. So it costed a little bit more. Yeah, and uh, you know, on here, if you, I guess if you just wanted the burger, it lists us at 581, uh, so. So if you wanted the burger by itself, you can buy it for about $6. Yeah, which is not that bad, I guess. For a big burger? Yeah, yeah it's not that it's bad. It's not that bad. All right, you guys, so I brought everything out. You saw that I didn't bring out the tenders yet because like I said, we only end up getting one thing and I didn't want to just bust it out like that. It looks saucy as fuck. It does. And I honestly thought the pieces were gonna be a smaller. Me too. But like, wow, all of them are pretty decent size. They look pretty good. Wow. You know how they do those chicken, like right here, speak it too early, those chicken nugget size ones. <laughs> but for the most part. You always have to have one, one or two of those in the box. Right? Yeah, yeah. But for the most part, dude, look at my feet, dude. Your finger's already saucy. Yeah. He hasn't even started eating yet. How's it taste? Is it spicy? For the Caucasian people. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that, that shit ain't spicy. It's it's a sweet, smoky barbecue. I'll take a bite for you guys. Wah, 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 wah. Wah.
be careful you guys because it falls apart easily because they're so saucy um but it's all right the chicken's all right it's a little kind of chewy honestly is it crispy at all not really honestly that's why i said you see me struggling taking a bite it fell apart it's kind of soggy damn um they don't hold up well but for the flavor they're not too bad it's a sweet barbecue this is not spicy like i said very hint slight in the background but like I said, that's the spice that's only going to get the Caucasians because uh, that ain't fucking with no Hispanic person or anybody who eats spices, like any kind of hot sauce. Yeah, so if you think mild sauce is hot, you're probably going to think this is hot, but uh, this ain't hot. All right, you guys. This is the man who eats blazing wings from Buffalo Wild Wings. Hey, yeah, and mango that's habanero. True. That's he true. mixes them both together and he's he be sweating like a dog, but he's still like, it's so good. I can't I can't even handle it, but it's good. It's good. It tastes good. This I, guy needs a shower after he gets done eating wings. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like I got out the shower after I damn ate those wings. Uh, <laughs> But out of 10, man, man, I wish it was better. Like, I don't want to throw it under a bus too bad, but I, I'm, I'm going to say it's only like a four banger or something like that. Like, because like I said, it's so saucy and soggy. The chicken's kind of chewy, like kind of rubbery a little bit. It's like, basically, it. The description of the tenders are not what they taste like. Because they say they're supposed to be crispy and spicy. And it's neither one of those. Yeah. <laughs> did, so, you, did you want to give it a try for the people? Yeah, I'll give it a try. All right, we'll see. All right, let's uh, try one of these bad boys out. See, I'm not the only one that had trouble trying yeah. to take a bite off. I told you, you guys. You weren't kidding. Yeah, it's really not that spicy. <clears throat> I agree. When you swallow, it kind of has like a little slight kick in the back, but it's like, not. Like, very slight, like, little. It's a little sliver. It's like, little... it's like cracking pepper on your shit, basically. Basically, yeah. It, that's what it tastes like to me. Um, the flavor's good. I like it for if it was like a regular barbecue sweet style. Yeah. I like it. It's yeah, the good. sauce is good. It's just not spicy like they said. It's not. It's not, not in the description. Yeah. No. Um, but... I'll eat it. For a barbecue sauce, it's good. But for a spicy barbecue, it's faulty advertisement. All That's all I'm saying. To be honest, though, this is not something I'm going to go back for. Yeah. If I go to McDonald's, this was like a one-time thing. Yeah, see? It's just, it's just, it's soft. The chicken's kind of chewy. It's not mm -hmm. like... And it's not like moist or not. It's like kind of rubbery a little bit down there. A little bit. Yeah. Like... But if you don't really like spicy and you just want a, a little bit extra flavor, this probably is it for you. It's definitely worth a try. You can't knock it till you try it. And every location's different. Maybe the location we went to was just... Yeah, it just wasn't good. Wasn't prepared we might have, maybe we have to try it again who knows but uh like i always tell you guys in my video everyone has a uh, different opinions and it's up to you to go try and make your own opinion yourself mm -hmm. but uh would you rate it like i said i like a four i don't know out of ten like you lacking mm -hmm. on your fucking chewing game and uh the spice like 
and you crumble apart when I bite. I can't even take a full bite from it. Like, right? out of 10, I'm gonna give it a five. Five out of 10. I almost gave it a five too. I, I just feel like it's mediocre. Yeah. It's not it's not what they put it out to be. That's just my opinion. It almost reminds me of a Carl's Jr. sauce wing. Mm -hmm. Those wings that they fucking be having. The the what sauce is it? I forgot. I forgot what sauce it is. I, I can't know. remember. Yeah. From Sonic? Oh yeah, Sonic. Not from Carl's Jr. No, Carl's Sonic. Jr. doesn't have wings. Yeah, Sonic. My bad, you guys. Sonic. Their wings, that fucking barbecue one. That's what it reminds me. It kind of does, yeah. Yeah. Kind of does taste like Sonic wings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The sauce. Yeah. Now that you describe it. At first, I'm like, was, what are you talking about? I was just trying to remember because I was like, dude, there's a sauce that it kind of tastes similar to. I was like, fuck. But they do have their own barbecue sauce. That might be their barbecue sauce. They just fucking sl sl slothered in it. It could be. It could be. All right, you guys. We're going to move on to the next thing, that burger. So I'm going to switch on back real Lovely quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. It's my turn now. We're getting back at this burger. And, you know, my girl just went up with those wings, and I guess they weren't that kicky. I know, I said I was gonna get into this burger, but one of these poppers is calling me. And I just wanna, you know, show you guys. I know no one's here for these jalapeno poppers, but you never know. Look at that gush. Mm. And I'm not gonna really review these, because I love jalapeno poppers. <laughs> so they're, they're a tin banger to me all day. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is what you're here for. Mmm. Yummy. Let's do this, you guys. Cheers. Oh, no. I just realized. I wanted to add tomatoes and onions oh. and pickles to this thing, and I Damn. totally forgot. Oh! Damn. That's horrible. We really did. We were supposed to do that. We but. planned this last night, and I told them, <laughs> when we get this burger, we're going to add the onions and the tomatoes and the pickles. Uh, it's not like we can't do it here at home, but I'm reviewing it for you guys straight up from the place for you guys. This is the this is the classic burger. This is how it's supposed to be. I'm gonna take order one it. more bite. <laughs> Look at those layers, though. Mm. Cheese and meat and lettuce with that sesame bun. Do. Right. Tell us about it. Let me wash it down real quick. <laughs> Drinking Sprite, you guys. I love Sprite. I like other sodas too, but I try to been cutting back on all those sugars. Sprite is let. I know it has sugar. Don't be talking your shit. But it has the less amount of sugars and heavy syrups. All that Coke, Pepsi, and other shit has. There's extra stuff in there. Why do you think it's so dark? Not just food coloring. Um. You guys, but check this out. This bun was so soft and yummy and chewy. The meat tastes really good, honestly. It tastes grilled, had a little smokiness to it. The question that people want to know, does it taste like a Big Mac? Damn near, honestly. Damn near. The, the, <laughs> I would say, yeah, it tastes like a Big Mac. It tastes like a Big Mac to me. Does it taste better than a Big Mac? Um, I say it's about the same. I wouldn't say that it's better. Man, you know what? Actually, I would say it's better. I take that back. I do say it's better than a Big Mac because a Big Mac doesn't have that smoky flavor. It has that little thin ass fucking patty Ooh. in a. You know, this one looks like they were kind of handmade. I'm not saying that they are, 
but they they got different shapes. I don't know. And uh, their meat doesn't look uh, processed or whatever. I'm just saying, <laughs> it has a smoky flavor. McDonald's doesn't. And anybody who knows who loves grilled food or anything off a barbecue, you want that smoke taste flavor up in your shit. So it reminds me of a barbecued Big Mac. That's what that is. Does like, it bring back nostalgia? Yeah, honestly, because uh, fucking I would order this and go to this every day over a damn McDonald's Big Mac because look at how, look at, I took two fat ass bites for you and look at it still lit, lit. Palm of my hand, those two, that it was hanging off my hand with those bites. Yeah. Like, yeah. so like, what the fuck? You can't do that with a Big Mac. I'm now y'all remember what a Big Mac was supposed to look like, yeah. huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now now get a little refresher, you know? If you don't know, now you know. Look at no mini buns. They no, this is regular size buns, no mini buns. <laughs> So you guys, honestly. Gotta go big or go home, yep. Texas style, but we in Cali. Yep, so honestly, in my opinion, I, in my opinion, like I said, you guys, everyone's opinion is different, but I feel like this shit's on a Big Mac. The flavor, the quality, and what you're getting for your money, cause you're paying the same fucking price for a Big Mac. Um, and it's like two times smaller. Yeah, so, uh, you know where I'm going. I'm a hustler, so this is a deal. This is what I go for, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna get hustled on no Big Mac anymore. I'm going back to where it belongs right here. And obviously, if you wanna make it more traditional Big Mac, you wanna add the pickles and the onions. Um, yeah, it, ha it, if comes you like with, it. it comes with lettuce, you know what I mean? It comes with lettuce it, and with cheese. With the sauce and cheese, you know what I mean? It's supposed to be something simple. It's supposed to be a spin, their spin on a Big Mac. They didn't want to do exactly the same because obviously they're going to get in trouble or, or still in their shit just like how fucking uh, Burger King got their taco and it's different, you know? So they were just trying to do their own twist and like honestly spin off some competition because you know, McDonald's, you lacking on your department now. <laughs> So, yeah, step up your game, Mickey D's. Yeah. And uh, they had their burger. This is new. We went and they had it. We went to fucking McDonald's and they didn't have their chicken sandwich. And we can't review it for you guys today. So there's a neg a ne another negative for McDonald's. How are you going to have something and not have it? Like, how are you going to have it and not have it? Either it was so good they sold out. Or they were prepared like Popeyes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my mood thing, you guys. You know, I just wanted to show you. I'm not gonna review no onion rings. You know what onion rings are? Um, like I said, I showed you the jalapeno poppers. They're ooey and gooey, and I can't review that because I love jalapeno poppers. I could technically review it, but we'll probably do it at another time. You'll have a biased opinion on it. I'll, honestly, I'll do it another time where me and my girl will just go around and getting jalapeno poppers for different places and comparing them. Maybe that's a better way. It's a different do. different video for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like I said, you guys. Comment below if you want to see that happen. If you want to see us go around and pick up some jalapeno poppers from different fast food spots and review them for you and see which one's the best, let us know below. Um, before we start closing this though, I kind of wanted to let my girl to try this and we'll see where her opinions on the body. All right, let's give it a try. Here it goes. Cheers. smokiness that you were talking about it's 
It's definitely a messy burger for sure. The sauce kind of oozes out as you eat it. Well, everything's oozing. Let's be real. That cheese is oozing everything. That cheese, <laughs> the sauce, everything. But it's really good, honestly. But if anyone remembers, the Big Mac was always messy. The Big Mac is always messy. That's how you know food is good when it's messy. That's that's what I always say. So, yeah, I give it a double thumbs up. I mean, definitely go try it out. And what's yours? Out of ten, I would say. Man, I feel like it's like an eight or a nine. I want to say, yeah, I want to say about the same eight or nine solid. Like, easily. yeah, I would definitely go back, order this again. And if I was comparing it from Big Mac to that, I'd give that a 10. If I was comparing only two, obviously I'd give that a 10. But for if I were comparing out of all burgers, I'd give it like eight or nine. Yeah, it's not bad at all. If you definitely want to kind of remember the old times and the good times that you used to have at McDonald's, definitely go for the Carl's Burger because it, it's pretty damn near the same. Yeah, flavor and the sauce and everything. It's just, like I said, it's just a little twist. It tastes like barbecue-y, smoky. Yeah, it's more, it's more char, char, charbroiled, is yep. that how you say it? Yeah, charbroiled. Yeah, um, I don't know, I taste that smokiness. You can taste like it, it just got off the grill, so. Yeah. I like it, thumbs up. Definitely a solid eight, nine out of 10. For sure. Especially compared to the original, well, to the Big Mac that it, how it is now, I would definitely choose this over the Big Mac. You heard it, you guys, you know. But like I said, oh, I'm sorry, guys and girls. <laughs> Everybody, y'all. Yeah, y'all, you folks. People. <laughs> My double O agents. Double O agents. Well, you ain't an agent until you like, subscribe, follow, you know, comment below, you know, do do the agent like thing to do, you know, yes. giant join us. Um, but yeah, you guys, we're gonna switch it back over so I can close out real quick. Peace. All right, you guys. Well, that was everything that we had for today. It was a little bit pricey, like I said, but it was for the both of us, you know. And it's fast food, so you're paying for the convenience. Um, I don't know what you guys are doing out there, but there's been a lot of games dropping now. And uh, if you want to talk about a game or me to review or look over a game, comment below, like, subscribe, you know. Give some comments and give some inspiration for videos of what you want to see. But other than that, I see you at the next mukbang or video. Deuces, you guys.